Oh yeah. In case you're wondering, this game does have an introduction, The Sister's Lament, but... As it so happens, it won't record, so... That will have to do. Anyways. You are a test and I do not need Yes, I played this game with a whole lot of characters. Some of which got really far, uh, some of which let's not even talk about that. So, yeah. We're gonna start a new game, obviously. Here are the classes, you can be any one of them. I'm... Gee, should I explain all of them? I should. This is the Druid. He's... a joke, really. Sorceress. The best class there is. If you know how to use potions, and I don't. This one might just make it through hell. But alas. The Paladin. A uh, few good skills, but... Melee class, so... No. <laughs> also a few good skills, but melee class... So no. The Necromancer, Mr. Solo Hell Naked. I'd like to see someone try. The way I play this game, I'd like to see someone go through hell naked. Seriously. The assassin... I really don't... Melee class, I don't... I really don't know how to use her. But... Interesting fact, what about the assassin? She doesn't need keys... To open locked chests. So, yeah. We're not going to be her either, we're going to be yet another Amazon. For the reason being that she's the only character that I've ever got anywhere that is remotely interesting to watch. I got Fervor as a necromancer, but that is not interesting. Lastly, she'll need a name. Uh, let's see. Can't be anything, really. Anyways. Jeez, what is the music doing? And here we are. Good day. Not much of an introduction. Hello, Warweave. Oh, greetings, stranger. I'm not surprised to see your kind here. Many adventurers have traveled this way since the recent troubles began. No doubt you've heard about the tragedy that befell the town of Tristram. Some say that Diablo, the Lord of Terror, walks the world again. I don't know if I believe that. But a dark wanderer did travel this route a few weeks ago. He was headed east to the mountain pass guarded by the rogue monastery. Maybe it's nothing, but evil seems to have trailed in his wake. You see, shortly after the wanderer went through, the monastery's gates to the pass were closed, and strange creatures began ravaging the countryside. Until it's safer outside the camp and the gates are reopened, I'll remain here with my caravan. I hope to leave for Loot Gulane before the shadow that fell over Tristram consumes us all. If you're still alive then, I'll take you along. You should talk to Akara too. She seems to be the leader of this camp. Maybe she can tell you more. Everyone in this bloody area is talk active as shit. We don't have to listen to them, I can just click it away. Can I take you? Like this. But that's no fun. Especially because you don't have the cinematics, I can't actually show you what the hell just happened. I mean... If I could show you the cinematics, and I assume you just looked it up on YouTube if you care, you'd have seen the Dark Wanderer wreck something's shit. Thoroughly. Anyway, this is us. We are this thing. We have javelins, we have a buckler, we have a scroll of identify, which goes here, and a scroll of teleport, which goes there. Let's see. We have, do we have money? No. In that case, we're just going to talk to Akara and get uh, this party started. I am Akara, High Priestess of the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye. I welcome you, Traveler, to our camp. 
But I'm afraid I can offer you but poor shelter within these rickety walls. You see, our ancient sisterhood has fallen under a strange curse. A mighty citadel from which we have guarded the gates to the east for generations. turned many of our sister rogues against us and drove us from our ancestral home. Now the last defenders of the sisterhood are either dead or scattered throughout the wilderness. I implore you, stranger, please help us. Find a way to lift this terrible curse, and we will pledge our loyalty to you for all time. There is a place of great evil in the wilderness. Kasha's rogue scouts have informed me that a cave nearby is filled with shadowy creatures and horrors from beyond the grave. I fear that these creatures are massing for an attack against our encampment. If you are sincere about helping us, find the dark labyrinth and destroy the foul beasts. May the great eye watch over you. Thanks a lot. She can also trade. That gives us our... Yeah. That switches weapons. You can have two weapons. That gives us our first quest, the Den of Evil. Now we can talk to people about quests like this. One who seeks that cave seeks death. <laughs> you don't know anything. But in this case, it's a run-of-the-mill, get in, get out, kill things mission, so there isn't much point in asking. Also, I forgot a little option with a character creation. I am not playing on hardcore. If you do, and if you die, that's it. Game over. I'm not going to do that. Anyways, we have a map, which is this. In brief, this is a greedy shit, fa shit face that sells us overpriced equipment. This. Hi there, I'm Charcy, the blacksmith here in camp. It's good to see some strong adventurers around here. Many of our sisters fought bravely against Diablo when he first attacked the town of Tristram. They came back to us true veterans, bearing some really powerful items. Seems like their victory was short-lived, though. Most of them are now corrupted by Andariel. Yeah. She can repair our equipment. Obviously, these things have, well, durability and quantity, respectively. And they will need to be repaired. She's not interesting right now. Before we set out, however... There is the issue of the game's difficulty. And you can change that using this command. Players 1 is the default, because there's only one player. You can set that, and you get the... To 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 8. We're going to be playing this game on players 8. So I'm effectively fighting for eight people. That's gonna be fun. And the first area, Bloodmore. I shall purge this land of the shadow. You can throw javelins, it does a lot more damage. In fact, it does a whole lot more damage. Those are fallen, your first run-of-the-mill demons. You just walk up to them. Poke them. I am a great fan of poking. And that's pretty much it. They gave us a whole lot of experience, that's because I'm on player's 8. Any enemy on player's 8 gives a whole lot more experience... ...than they do on player's 1. So I'm gonna be leveling like nobody's business. Die, zombie. I don't think I need strength at the moment. Dexterity. 
don't even know what I need. These are my skills. Javelin and spear, passive and magic, bow and crossbow. I'll go over all that shit one. Once I care. For now, all you need to know is that... When that happens, that little light thing, I score a critical hit. That's the skill I just got. Light, mana potion, skill potion, stamina potion, sorry. Pretty sure I... I don't even know what I want here. Well, I'll go with Vitality. Let's see. And now we get Jab. I'm not actually going to use it. I'm just taking it because I need it. For later skills I am going to use. I want that. You I want dead. Jeez. Yeah, the game starts slow. Die, Quillrat. We get some interesting skills, we can have fun here. That isn't going to be for a while, though. Die already, jeez. More Quillrat. Oh my. A plus there is someone. Flavy. Halt. You should complete Akara's quest before venturing further. Search for the den in the wilderness closer to camp. You can ignore her advice and just run past her. There is nothing stopping you from doing so, but as it so happens, I'm currently really poorly equipped to do that. Sash, by the way. You see these potions? There's two lines of them. That is what the Sash does. Sash does. Without one. With two. It is truly that simple. Managing those potions are is incredibly important. It's absolutely vital if you're playing a sorceress character. Sadly, I don't know how to really use those potions, so I don't play a sorceress character because it's useless. Going Shrines are temporary bonus bonuses. This one doubles the experience we get, so it is really good. That one fills our health. Die. I need a key. Yes. Lock chest. You need keys. The assassin does not need keys. If you have keys as an assassin, however, she does consume keys. I don't know why. At least I think she does. I'll get that level when I give a crap. Crack javelin. Cracked eagle orb. All of that is equipment I can't actually use, or won't use, so... There's no real point going over it. Bow I'm not going to use. I'll be using javelin skills. Much like my last... Amazon. Because they are good. Die. Critical strike. Die. <laughs> Not racking issue. Eesh, not our experience talking. I can't carry it anymore. Sure. Die, zombie. Food leather gloves I can use. Oh damn, that is noisy. 
A well, excellent. A well restores health, mana, and stamina, and cures poison, and can creatures about. and can be used twice. It is beautiful. Anyways, just click the level here. I can't carry anymore. Oh, jeez. Um, just do that. I am overburdened. There isn't much point in killing these guys because you can see if it can be revived. We're going to have to fix that. I need to be level six. I am level five. Oh. Uh, more vitality. Let's see, I need. Inner sight reduces enemy defense. It it isn't useful. I don't use it. But as it so happens, it's again a skill. I need to get better skills, so I'll get it. That. Deal with it. It's like this. There. Something. Real stamina plus, wow. That's pretty much identical. That's scroll portal, that's just portal scroll. Inventory management is a bit of a bitch because this and this is all you get for inventory. Well, I don't have anything better. I do believe that is it. Yep, and the rest can all be sold. Good day. You don't need to worry about who you're selling things to, they all pay the same amount. Prepare my stuff and get some better equipment. Crude useless. The key to surviving early is to just buy some basic equipment. And, well, go on with it. Let's see. Oh, I need strength for that. Okay. Next, we're going to buy something else that's useful. And a car sells that. Hello. A car, buy the buy, sells. Necromancer staves, paladin, scepters, and sorcerer. Uh, things. This is a tome of town portal and a tome of identity. I don't know what they're called. They allow you to hold those scrolls. Which is, of course, convenient. Quill has to poke. Come on. Poke. You need a lot of money early game. And that helps. Experience-wise, I mean. 